Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. It's finally fall, y'all. It is finally, actually, honest to goodness, fall. <clears throat> I mean by the calendar anyway. Don't necessarily mean by the weather because today it's a little bit cool, but I'm afraid we're gonna like pop back up to the 80s or 90s again. So we'll have to see, right? Oh my goodness, what a week it has been. What a week. Um, Wednesday I was off work for half a day which just meant that I could be away from my desk for half a day and then still have to go back and do stuff. But that's another story. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. I went with the hubby to an appointment that he had all the way down in Gainesville, not Gainesville, Florida, Gainesville, Georgia. And for us, that's roughly 45 minutes to an hour of drive. Um, get down there, find out some possibilities that he has going forward, you know, with insurance, you can't just go to the thing that might work. You have to go through this step and this step and this step. He has a lot of back pain to the point where he can't really walk for more than a couple of minutes at a time before he has to sit down because it's that painful. So they're going to try something because it's way in the lower back um, to where the, the try thing to see if, hey, this might work is... You basically get like little local anesthetics injected around some side nerves that are causing the back. They think they're causing the back pain. This is a way to check. And you have to like keep a diary afterwards. And it's like, it's a very short term thing. It might last a day or two, if that literally that short, but you have to see how it ends up feeling, you know, if that works and then stops working as it should, you do it again. And then if that also works and then stops working and you've gotten some benefit out of it when it does work and you feel, you know, you can move and all this stuff, um, then they go in and do, and I don't know the long medical term, it's an ablation of some of those side nerves. It is not a permanent fix, but it is more long term. Um, people who usually have that apparently get it done. Um, some have to come back in six months to get it done again. Some have to come back up to two years later and get it done again. You never know. So we're going to see if that's the route we can take. And I told the doctor, because I went in there, because I'm like, I remember things better. Noggin, you know. Um, I said, first of all, what are the risks? And basically the risks are, you know, like, like any other injection type thing. But there's no steroids or anything. It's literally a local anesthetic. Um, and it wears off. So any risks would be like... Um, injection site risk, you could get an infection or something like that. Typical stuff that they have to tell you. And I'm like, great. I said, can all of this be done before the end of the year? Why? Because we've met our out-of-pocket maximum. And those of you who have insurance in the U.S., y'all will know what I'm talking about. When you meet that, not just deductible, we have met the out-of-pocket maximum, which means even my meds right now are no cost. And Sorry, I was looking. My door just kind of randomly opened. I think the cat walked by. I didn't have it shut all the way. Um, so I am like, before the end of the year, I am stocking up as much as I can with my meds. And that way I won't have to buy them at the beginning of the year as much because then it's, you know, hundreds of dollars. So yeah, out of pocket maximum met. So hopefully that will be something that will bring him some relief. Yes. So that was Wednesday. Um, Thursday, he had another appointment thing all the way up in Anderson, which is in South Carolina, which is actually closer than the Gainesville, Georgia one, but cause we're close to South Carolina. And then Friday, he had another appointment in Athens, which is a different direction, but down towards where Gainesville is. Yes, Oscar, you can just walk on by. Little tail in the air, just walking on by. Um, so he had a lot of appointments this week and me yesterday. I'm working, I'm doing the thing, I'm working, and then I'm not working because the internet died. Yeah. So I right away, I, I call because he was actually asleep and he was getting going to be getting ready to go to Athens, so he couldn't even stick around. I call and I report and I make a ticket and then I text my boss, hey, internet's down, been down since 1025, um, have a ticket number, bloop, bloop, bloop. She's like, oh no, 
uh, I said, please tell my team that I didn't just, you know, abandon them, that my internet's down, so I'm going to be out of pocket for a little while. And uh, so she did that. And then she got a hold of a person who could get my ticket escalated. Because the date that they gave me to fix my internet was the 29th. It was a whole week away. Dude, it's 2022. We work from home now. We cannot just not have internet for a week, okay? Um, so they got somebody there. The tech came, a tech and his trainee. And um, they were great. Did a little testing and saw the kind of modem that we had, the DSL modem. They were like, yeah, that's probably the problem anyway. Because apparently those particular modems were just not really good, not really reliable, which is why they have since switched to another modem. Replaced the modem, got it all working. Bonus. I was able to get to work. I worked till about eight o'clock last night to help make up for some time with stuff that I was doing. So that was all good. And I'll probably pop in there tomorrow, Sunday, for a little bit to take care of some more things. Salary, y'all. Hashtag salary. But there's stuff I need to do. So I want to get it done. I want to take care of my team. I mean, that that's the important part. I have to take care of my team and do things that need to be done. So I will do that. Uh, the new position is going well. Um, I enjoy it. Um, apparently, according to my boss, I'm really good at it, even though I've just started doing it. She says, you were made for this job. And I'm like, I don't know about that, you know, but I know how to turn on the supervisory mojo because I'm not running around with a stick, you know, somebody's not doing something right. Let's, let's ease into it. Let's meet them where they are and see what we can do. I've got a good team. Even the so-called problem child isn't so much problem child anymore. So yeah, I'm kind of proud of myself about that one because, you know, she's not a bad person. A lot of it, she's misunderstood. I get that. I've been misunderstood my whole life. So I do get that just totally differently than the way she is. So yeah. Hashtag go, go gadget supervisor. Let's mix all the things. Hashtag and go, go gadget. I know I show off my age all the time because I watched Inspector Gadget and I loved it. And I still have the theme song in my head. Do, 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 do. Inspector Gadget. Do, 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 do. If you remember Inspector Gadget, let me know. Because <laughs> I watched it all the time when I was a kid. It came on uh, before school. Um, it was one of those on repeat, you know, I would have it on before I went to school. So yeah, today there is a little fall festival in a town near where I live, Livonia, Georgia. So I do want to go to that. Uh, I want to try to find some festival food because there's almost always some good festival food. Okay. And look at all the arts and crafts and different things that people sell. And right now the temperature is totally not bad. It's like 60 degrees outside. Granted, it is also 1030 in the morning, but still, when we were having lows of 70 and highs of 90, I'll take 60, 65. The high today is supposed to be at the most like 79. I don't intend to be outside when the sun's beating down and doing all that. I wore something that I could wear for fall. Um, this sweater, while it may, it's very, very light, it is like a spring summer weight top that I picked up on Mega Clearance. Um, it's kind of a sweatery thing. No, it's not crocheted, obviously, but you know, it has that vibe. I'm wearing a black cat suit underneath it and I've got a skirt on too because this fat chick does not just wear a cat suit out because no, too lumpy, too bumpy, too frumpy. Okay. But I've got a cute skirt on and I'll try to take a picture of the outfit. You can't really see the cat suit all the way down. It does go down to my ankles. Um, but I wear it. I try to at least pull it out and wear it a couple of times in a season because it's the only cat suit I own. Torrid had them and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. I don't know what I was thinking, but I've gotten a little bit of use out of it already. It's comfortable. And if you're a fat chick like me, Torrid makes stuff that actually fits our bodies. There's an Oscar here. Hey, Monch. Did you want to come say hi to the people? Come say hi to your friends. Hi. What are you doing? Oh, do you see yourself in that camera? Yeah. 
He doesn't care. He's getting chin scratchings. Chin scratchings are everything, aren't they? Oh, I know. He's got such a sweet little face, doesn't he? He's so teeny. He's holding onto my arm right now. Are you mama's teeny boy? Are you going to chomp me? I feel a chomp coming. Mama feels a chomp. Yeah. Sorry, cat interruption. Did you hear birdies out there? I hear the birdies. I'm surprised you're not over there talking to birdies. You know how cats do when they see a bird outside. Waka, 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 waka. Yeah. Oh, there's the chomp. No chomping, Mama. He can chomp pretty hard for being such a teeny cute boy. And then he licks. Oops, sorry, Mama. Didn't mean to rip your hand all the way off. Can I put you down now? Can I put you down? Okay, come on. Ah, now he's chomping when I try to put him down. Really? Come on. Down you go. Good boy. Or, or bad boy. Chomp him. Anyway, I know y'all are here for the crochet. Oh, and I've had some... If you haven't seen them lately, if all you see are the vloggy videos, um, there is a flip through of two different crochet magazines and a flip through of a couple of books and a flip through of it all recipes over the last couple of weeks. Plus I've had my um, time for tea. I've had snacks around the world. We've done some hot taste. So I'm trying to keep up with things again. Didn't get a ton of crocheting done this week. Um, when I rode to Gainesville with the hubs, I did bring along this bag, which is the bag that I'm using for my um, hashtag rock 2022 AU. I, I gather my colors for that month, that, that times square, and I put them in here and I crochet with them and I didn't even put my hook away. I was working on this a little while yesterday while the internet was down. But see, crocheting relaxes me so much that I start to fall asleep, so. But, uh, this is the start of my square. It's actually getting pretty far. I'm, I'm nearly done with it. Of course, no ends weaved in yet. But this is for the cover of the soundtrack to A Clockwork Orange. Um, if you've never seen A Clockwork Orange, it may disturb you. It came out in like 1970 and whoa okay it's a bit much for most people but if you've ever seen it you know what i mean but if you've probably seen the poster for it a clockwork orange just look up the poster you don't have to even look up what it's about it's a stanley kubrick thing so it's like it's bizarre anyway but the cover i just represent the col the colors on the album cover which the rest of this will be mostly black and there'll be a little bit of blue in there because there should be some blue from that album cover but that's you know my representation of that album cover and i think it's fun and cool and I should be done with that probably after the weekend. The only other thing that I have managed to actually work on is my temperature blanket. I don't want to knock anything down because I have a pile of stuff over here. I think I've shown it to you since I've attached the latest row that was done. 19 squares across, going to be 20 rows down. Look at that. So blue and pretty and lots of little squares. Okay. Now, let me show you what I've done this week, or since I started that, which I think has been pretty much for the week. Got my little book. I don't have a little bag. It all goes in. It's in the other room. These are three, <clears throat> three days after that. They were all identical because we were in a, in a holding pattern. Um, and then I got behind. <laughs> I was working on it last night. It was like midnight and I was getting very, very sleepy. So I got this part of one square done and it's still attached. I have five inner parts of this color because they were all in a row. And I have to have two inner parts of this color for how far I was behind. Yes, I got that far behind. I know, I should be smacked or something. Um, and I've got a couple of colors for the outer colors. So I will catch up with that. You know, doing the little small squares like that makes it to where even if I'm that far behind, it's actually not that much to do. I just have to sit down and do it. You know how that is sometimes, but I sit down and do it. By the way, this necklace, um, I think was originally supposed to be a bracelet uh, <laughs> that you wrap around a bunch of times, but I like to wear it as a necklace and I just always fiddle with it. And I've got a, uh, a ring that the hubby got for me hanging off the end of it. 
it's a kitty. And I do wear it sometimes. It's a kitty that wraps around your finger, but I just wanted to wear it hanging there. This was made by Jane. Some of y'all may know Jane. You run into her on some of the lives, like especially Lisa's lives. Um, Jane is awesome and very talented. Look at this. It's so pretty. I love the beads. I love the crochet because yes, that is crocheted in between like, whoa. Um, and yeah, I just thought it would look nice with this because it needed a little something in the front because it's just not very colorful. This basic, very light blue. Um, yeah. So I decided to have a little fun with it today and I will probably wear this or something close to it when I go to the festival. Uh, but my hair will probably be up because it being down will start to drive me a little bonkers. And I'm already a little bonkers, so I don't need any help with that. The plants, I am not even going to go outside and take a video of those today. Because they're looking sad. They're looking real sad. We've had a little bit of cool weather. I haven't been keeping up with them the way I should. Because I've been, you know, there's a meme out there, like an animated GIF meme that is Jim Carrey um, typing like so he's like making one of his faces and typing that's what I've been doing all week <laughs> a lot of that a lot of work I'm trying to get caught up to the point where I can get more of a rhythm to it and I can get back to watching videos I know that I've missed everybody's videos lately I'm so sorry occasionally I watch them and I don't even comment because I just can't really take the the brain bandwidth or the time to do that so I feel really bad and I miss everybody and yeah that, that kind of makes me sad but I do <clears throat> enjoy the job um, I don't enjoy my lack of overtime pay now because I was I was raking in the bucks with time and a half over 40 hours I didn't realize exactly how much I was making relative to what a salary, a good salary was. Yeah. See, that, you know, they have changed it now. You do at least get raises once a year on salary. So, yes, hopefully that will happen. I'm working on taking some of the leadership development courses that work offers because we have a whole thing called Skill Connect. You can take courses on just about anything from Excel to learning how to do collaboration to working online, uh, all kinds of things. So I am working on that. Um, yeah, trying to better myself in the corporate view and, you know, keep some work life balance going too, which means crochet. I need to crochet. I do. I need to go in there and have some breakfast too, because I'm hungry. Yeah. Maybe this morning it'll be some yogurt with some peanuts. Because that sounds really good. I got the multi multi pack of Great Value brand. Um, some of it's strawberry, some of it's blueberry. It's like, you know, half and half in the big pack. I love getting the blueberry yogurt and getting some honey roasted peanuts and just put those in there. Yum. It's actually a pretty good combo. So that's a thing. Thank you for coming by. I really appreciate you sticking around, even though I have not been able to be in everybody else's videos and lives. I've missed the lives uh, and everything else lately. Um, I do appre appreciate you sticking around and putting up with this craziness because it is crazy lately. I will see you very, very soon, hopefully. <laughs> and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day, whatever you're doing. Make sure you, uh, like I tell you on Mondays, take some time for yourself, some time for tea or coffee or whatever. Just take some time for you to help settle the old noggin. Thank you. See you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.